I want to share a small kind of build that I've been rocking now that has to do with an armor set that I totally think is cool to get. And I also want to share some abilities and upgrades that I think are amazing. So a like on this video would really help the channel out and let's go. First up a quick reminder for my Helix credit pack giveaway. Just click the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win. So you can get one of the armor sets without spending money yourself. You have to be a subscriber of this channel before you enter and good luck. Let's start with the Feign Death ability. We talked about multiple times before launch but never really saw an action. Well I suddenly discovered it over here on the map in Gloucester Shire in a 220 camp. Just keep using the Odin site and then you will like find it eventually. But to be honest on rank 1 it's not really that strong. Maybe I'm using it wrong but for example doing it in the middle of combat will just have the enemies stare at you. Like they can't really believe that you just died and then eventually move away. But the moment you get up you are immediately alerted and will be fighting again. So I haven't found a good reason to use it on rank 1 apart from it being quite a lot of fun to throw yourself on the ground of course. Like I love the animation. Now but rank 2 of this ability is actually super powerful. So you get that one over here on the map in Oxenfordshire a level 90 region. And of course you can go here first too and then get rank 2 later. Like the order doesn't matter. But I still think it's pretty useless without the rank 2 upgrade. And in this camp you need to find a key to open the door and then get the ability. It's not that hard. But what happens with the upgrade is that you can actually do an assassination from the feigned death state. So what I do now is I throw myself on the ground in front of a high health target. Then I select the target to kill, get up, assassinate him. So then with the advanced assassination I of course trigger the quick time event. I complete that and then you one hit KO the super powerful skill enemy without like playing stealthy at all. And of course if you successfully pull off an assassination you get an adrenaline back as well. So basically the cost for this ability. It will be on a small cooldown so you can't spam it but it's really not that long. So you can totally do it again very often. Kill another enemy. If you by the way hit the chain assassination button repeatedly while doing the first assassination then you might actually kill another enemy that is far enough as well. So then you kill two targets with this tactic. One caveat though like be careful when you activate it because if enemies are still attacking you then you will still be hit even if you are playing dead. A quite similar tactic is of course with the Thorn of Slumber rank 2 that as I showed you before can be found over here on the map. You first need to get the key from higher up and then open the building to get it. And then you can have multiple enemies fall asleep that stand close to each other and then assassinate them, get adrenaline back and do it over and over again. I said it before, super strong, but the feigned death is now like a fun alternative. And I've also been using the mentor's outfit a lot and it's one of the higher level armor sets. Although if you like know where to look you can already get it pretty early and of course immediately wear it. And I will tell you how to get it in a second because it's already worth it for the look. I love the face mask, the belt, but best of all are the shoulder pads on both sides. That look even cooler when you wear the hood and cloak. Really great stuff and I've already been doing kind of a build around it and sure I will be doing more in-depth builds later on but for now I already wanted to show you what I like put together. So let's get two pieces first because they of course already trigger the first set bonus. You can find in Sussexus the chest over here on the map. It's a 160 power level region but I think you can totally sneak into this building without maybe even fighting enemies. Shoot the sack of rocks so they fall down and create an opening and from there it's pretty obvious. Like you will easily get to the chest to get the torso. The cloak is in a more heavily guarded camp though over here on the map in Snottinghamshire. A 250 power level region. My tactic was to just sneak in, get to the chest. Like it's a door that you can break. 
So storm in, I already did some damage to the enemy inside that has the key to open the chest. Then I did the Thorn of Slumber combo and assassinated the target. Totally doable and then just loot the chest and run out like that worked for me. And if you got two pieces, then you unlock the increased attack after critical hits perk that can go up to 20 extra attack if you have the five maximum stacks. So did five critical hits in the window of 35 seconds so when you do a critical hit it will appear and you'll of course see that above your health bar then if you in those 35 seconds do another crit the 35 seconds will start again but then you have an extra stack so you get more attack so now the trick is to do critical hits and i use the fafnir's fang for that that you get from that drang gear in norway over here on the map i already showed you that in my early things video the perk on this weapon namely increases your crit chance when surrounded by three or more enemies and it actually stacks up as well if there are four or five enemies around you and then you get an extra of 10 crit chance which is quite a lot so what I do is I run into the camp and alert everyone for this effect to trigger and again you will see that the perk is active thanks to the icon above your health and it will go away after 10 seconds when there are less than three enemies nearby I use the mournful cry that I got at Reda shop and as said before, totally do the daily and weekly contracts here to build up that opal and save it up for when something like this amazing weapon appears in the shop. But I will talk more about this in another video as well. Like this mythical weapon is amazing because it triggers poison on a critical hit. So when the enemy is poisoned I also know that I triggered a critical hit and that the effect from the mentor's armor is active without like paying attention to the damage numbers and of course the perks above my health. So yes, this does mean that I'm of course using the heavy dual wield skill to have the spear in the offhand and my hammer in the main hand. And I showed you the Viper bow before in a previous video that you can buy in a fender in England pretty early in the game already. This gives you increased crit chance up to 10 times like it can go to an extra of 30 crit chance and I think this then counts for all your weapons in that two second window so shooting with that bow first to build up that buff and then hitting the enemy with your melee attack can be a nice way to increase your chance of a critical hit because critical hits with the bow sadly do not count so that's why I mostly use the light bow now to build up my crit chance and then I go smack things with my hammer. And the mentor set bonus will by the way be enhanced when you have the full set. So then when scoring a crit you get next to the attack also extra speed up to 10 for 5 critical hits which is also quite nice. Like you will already be moving around rather quickly because the armor does not weigh a lot and then also having increased speed and just a spear in the offhand to grab enemies towards you and the maze that is already super fast like I'm having a ton of fun with this build. So let's find the rest of the set. For the gloves we need to go over here on the map in Sussex in a bandit camp and you want to climb down here, you, there will be like a hole in the ground with pillars. So, so climb down there and it can be a little tricky to find where you need to go because it's kind of dark. So when you drop down you will see explosive jars that are needed for a breakable wall. But to get to that breakable wall we have to shoot like something here first to create an opening. Then carry the explosive jar to the next room to throw it. And then you will reach the gloves eventually. The mask is over here on the map in Snottinghamshire. And it's also in a camp. But I think you can just run in and grab the mask. Otherwise it should still be doable. Just like the Lax in Winchester that is inside a small fortress. You need to like hit the door via a window to open it up. To get the final piece of the set, the Lax. Like it's all... Pretty much doable if you just go to these locations that I showed you here. It's over here in Winchester, by the way. And I will showcase more sets, abilities, and tips, of course, in future videos. So totally subscribe for everything and subscribe to Valhalla if you haven't already. A like on the video would really help me out. Join the Discord, find the link in the pinned comment to chat Valhalla with me and other people. You can also watch my previous video on amazing weapons you want to get by clicking on the screen. Like overall, there are a ton of Valhalla videos already up. So check them out if you haven't already. I think they will help you out a lot. And for now, I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.